Hey, let's talk about Sleepnizer. Hope I pronounced that right. For Safari, this is Jeff with I Download Blog. This is available for $1.99 on the Big Boss Repo or $1.49. You get that 50 cent discount if you already purchased Restore tab for Safari. Watch the video on that one, folks. Basically, Sleepnizer is like a supercharger, and that's not hyperbole, folks. It is really like a supercharger. Uh, it speeds up your Safari browsing experience. Uh, significantly, there are also gestures. There are two main features with the Sleepnizer. You can open a tab in the background, and then there are, there are the one-handed specialization gestures, as they call them. Basically, just gestures, um, but they're very, very functional. They work very well. And they're like L-shaped gestures that you can just you make, draw an L on your screen, basically, and they work. It also includes the SB settings toggle. Um, so that you can enable or disable the open tab in the background just in case you want to use Safari's default functionality. So let's head over to our settings app and there is a settings panel for sleep or sleepnizer. I'm struggling with that one folks. There's a lot of settings here. This is the main meat and potatoes of the settings here. You have open tab and background gestures and then you have all the gestures defined here. So you can have all these actions and you can define any one of these gestures here. Uh, very powerful tweet. You see the run JavaScript even. So even if you wanted to run a bookmarklet using a gesture, you can actually do that and define the JavaScript in the main panel of the settings panel, which is extremely powerful if you think about it. No more using going to your bookmarks to run bookmarklets. But there's a lot of different uh, built-in gestures right here, as you'll see, built-in options for gestures rather. Now, I promise I'll show you the gestures in a second, but first, let's check out this open tab and background functionality. It gives the perception that, you know, Safari is faster because it's actually loading everything in the background. Watch, let me just show you. Just tap and hold on any link. I'm going to tap and hold on this link here, and you'll see done. Now, watch me go. Now, watch me do it again. You'll see a, the tab increase there. See that? So, it actually loaded that tab in the background. So it gives the perception that, you know, Safari is faster because it loaded in the background. So once you get through reading the original tab, you go to that next page, it's already loaded. Pretty cool stuff here. Now let's check out these gestures. Let's go back a tab. Up left, you see that? That went back a tab. Up left, went back another tab. Up left, went back another, another. So that's how you go back a tab. Up right, does the same thing except in the other direction. So go up left up right just back forward back forward blah 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 all right so that's basically how you use a gesture just an l gesture um but that's not all there are others down right that actually close the tab down right see how the tabs are just decreasing there um so it's pretty cool now let me show you another one i'm gonna go to the bottom here and watch this down left see that i went back to the top of the page watch this down left up back to the top of the page and as I stated at the beginning, folks, that's just a smidgen of the available gestures for Sleepnizer. Let's head back to Cydia. Again, this is available for $1.99 on the Big Boss Repo or $1.50 if you already have Restore tab for Safari. So have you tried this? Let me know what you think in the comments section, folks. Does it look interesting to you? It does to me. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.